But I quit smoking two years ago, so it's like, you know, mm. that was tough. Was it? Cigarettes? Yeah. Well, I did. I quit drugs and um, cigarettes. Well, you went clean. You were clean for a long time. 17 years. And then, oh my God, did you see these ladies in, in Denver today? They took a live Ebola vaccine. There's not even Ebola cases here. But this doctor was uh, encouraging people to take this uh, Ebola vaccine just in case Ebola hits. Why does everybody want to freak me out? I know. Why does this lady want to freak me out by taking this thing? Like, who knows what the fuck is going to happen to you now? And why does everybody want to freak me out at the fucking possibility of some new disease coming along and killing everybody? You know, I don't see any real friendship with... Joe and these guys like Bert. I think he wanted a real friendship. You know, he wanted to be the father figure of this comedy community. I don't think Rogan likes Mark Norman. I don't think he likes Shane Gillis as much as he pretends to and wants to. I don't think he gets along with even Tom. Like he fantasizes that he gets along with him. Uh, and I think Bert is the most receptive to kind of figuring that out you know i could see it in all their eyes they kind of know like shane and mark know how awkward it is to be around joe this isn't a real friendship oh no. see joe is not being himself lately he's turning into dark brandon what could joe's dark nickname be night joe night joe but i love my favorite joe rogan stuff is when joe is mean to the guest and he's unaware of how crummy he's acting right i don't think it's that easy to spread i think ebola has to be spread by bodily fluids it's not remember. airborne right yeah yeah but they could fix that oh man if if it was like covid like that easy, yeah, but Ebola. We're fucked. But that's that's what scares the shit out of me, man. They keep talking about it. These fucking the creeps at the World Economic but Forum. Do you think it's? Let me, because I don't know. Okay. Can I just ask you something? I don't yes. know. You know me. I don't know much. Okay. About nothing, right? Right. But do you believe that it was like uh, man-made? Well, it was COVID? definitely man-made. Besides, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't it, say definitely because it, I'm not it really. skipped all like uh, animal forms. Like you can't find that virus out in the wild. Comedic talent. When you see comedic talent, if you're going to label yourself a comedian, you got to be a comedy guy. And Bobby Lee is a comedy guy. Like, no matter what his path was, he he's a... He exudes comedic he's energy. He's uh, And I'm not saying these people are good, but Will Ferrell, comedy guy. There are other people that are comedy guys, right? You could just... They were born to be comedy guys. Joe Rogan's not a comedy person. He just happened to get into comedy. Andrew Santino is not a comedy person. But Bobby Lee's one of these comedy guys. So I think what happens with people, I think why they think he's so amazing is because compared to Chris D'Elia, Joe Rogan, uh, Tom Papa, and all these bores, Bobby comes off as a real character, a real... Uh, you know, you're you're seeing somebody here. This is a you know a figure, a a, a guy. Uh, and I've always said, like, yeah, he's the best of the worst. And then all of a sudden, it made a leap to person. And they lied about funding it. That was the big thing with Fauci and the NIH. They lied about funding gain-of-function research, and Rand Paul grilled them. You can watch it on YouTube. And then they lied about whether or not they fu th this, first of all, was happening, whether or not they were doing gain-of-function research, and whether or not they funded it. It's they funded it through another organization. So they fund another organization, and another organization funds the Wuhan lab. My friends mock me for being short. They mock me for being bald. They mock me for being the old. Thing's nuts. It's like, who's I mean, deciding what happens and doesn't happen? Is it the Secretary of State? Who's, is it, who's, is it, is it the military-industrial complex? Are they completely at the helm? Is it the, sh is it the shit you think about when you lay in bed at night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. How the fuck do you sleep? Sometimes I don't. That's, yeah, yeah. that's a real problem at night. Yeah. At night, I have my most anxiety-filled moments about this stuff. I, I've talked about it openly. Wow. But I'll really freak out at night because I, I legitimately think 
we are one or two events away from living in the Stone Age again. And I think it could happen in our lifetime and it could happen to you and I. Like, I'm, I'm really convinced that the fabric of society is way more fragile than anyone appreciates. Yeah. That most people appreciate, rather. It's like the mayor of Los Angeles telling everybody what businesses they can and can't have open, mm. what's essential and non-essential. Like, says who? Yeah. And after a while, when a bunch of people had had COVID and then got 11 and through 9-11, they passed the Patriot Act. Yeah. And there was a devastating blow to free speech and control and just your ability to have privacy. Yeah. The government had full reign. To listen to all your phone calls, listen to, to read all your emails, and they're doing it right now. And the, the NSA is doing it right now. They can listen to any any time you make a phone call to someone. It's all getting recorded. Deep state. Well, for real. Is it deep state? Listen. Yeah. You could put whatever words you want, okay. but if you don't think that these corporations that donate insane amounts of money to political campaigns have an influence on what happens in the world— you're naive. Now, That's a silly way a to think of things. Who, now, if you've got a evil guy, is who, cobalt mines in in the Congo. When you watch pregnant women mining for cobalt, getting toxic fumes in their mm. lungs, while in some of them have babies on their back. Phone. That's evil. And everyone's cell phone is the labor of essentially people so poor they don't have to choose whether they're slaves or not. They just ha there's no other option for them to work. A lot of times, I'm just like, you know, I, everything that you said, I'm with you, but I'm just saying that like. It stresses me out. It should. Yeah, and I walk, and, and I want to walk around a little bit more free, and you know, the Patriot Act still controlled people in a way that was never allowed before, Managed and it did it under the shit. guise that we have to stop and the they terrorist enact control yeah. over the people that they, they never had before. Mm. And that's what they did during COVID. Well, it just stresses me out. Anyway, really good to be here. Great to have you. You so, want to leave? So, you can bail if you want. I, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't? No. We're talking. Two and a half hours is... That's good enough. That's huge. That's plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just stop now. Yeah. Please, consider moving here, man. You, I you know. An awesome I'm, it's, a, it's a thing. Like I said, Theo's considering it. Paulie's considering it. Yeah, the private messages. And I got a message from some dude saying, listen, don't, don't threat this fucking guy. We're going to kill him and all this shit. I <laughs> Joey said he was going through email. Did you hear this? I was going through some emails. I got a message from these guys that had been tailing him. They said, don't, don't worry. We got this guy. We're going to take him out. Like this season on Barry. He's living in Barry. I'm not kidding. He could be, this could be Barry. This could be part of a scene from the show. Barry on HBO. He would kill on that show, honestly. I got an email about Mike David from Chicago. They said, don't worry, Joey. We're on his tail. He won't be a problem. No more. Okay. okay. Well, they're working very slow. This was from how many years ago now? Okay, let's see. Don't, don't threat this fucking guy. We're going to kill him and all this shit. I, I, listen, I can go back down. If you want, we'll get a computer fucking expert to find the, the thing on my Facebook. And you can find it. And you can read it. And you can see who the fuck sent it. I didn't know who sent it. You know those Facebook things that have no picture on them and shit. So one day I'm with Lee there. And I say the Malanucci brothers are looking for him. I don't even know who the Malanucci brothers is. <laughs> it's like me saying the Staminke brothers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this idiot ran with it. He Googled the Malanucci brothers. And <laughs> the ass is fucking the you know, gonna kill me. I, listen, guy. You told us in your last video, he said, I got the Gargini brothers. They're coming after you to kill. And we showed everybody that you said that. And now he's going, this guy thinks the Martucci's are coming. After you. It's like, I definitely know the Martucci's are coming. But I also knew that the Gargini's weren't coming. <laughs> <laughs> Only you believed Gargini during this whole thing. Everyone else <laughs> clearly knew there were no oh my God, those are twin such... hitmen named the Gargini brothers. <laughs> and yes, we did Google it. And that's how we know.
Okay, let's hear some more. Saying the Staminki brothers, you know what I'm saying? This idiot ran with it. He Googled the Malanucci brothers and <laughs> Diaz is fucking, you know, going to kill me. Listen, guy. See, he's, all he's doing is backpedaling because he did say those things as real threats. And then the internet made fun of him. And now he's going, this guy believed it. No, we didn't believe it. Why do I feel like Joe you is believed the it. next person you're going to make up with and become BMS with like Red Man? Yep. Within one year's time, if I tried, I could be not only his friend, but a close friend. <laughs> yep. So, but I could do it. 100%. <laughs> but yes, I can trick this stupid old man into almost anything. I'm positive. All right, let's see. Again. I'm not, I don't have the intelligence of Joe Rogan. <laughs> wow. So you're really, really, really bad as far as intelligence. <laughs> it's not good. You don't even have the intelligence of Rogan? That's like being like, I don't have the intelligence of a toddler. It's less. All right, let's hear. Again. I'm not, I don't have the intelligence of Joe Rogan. I don't know what's going on in politics. I don't know what's going on in Russia. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I do know one thing. I know people and I know how life works. Oh, shit. Oh, when I said that about this fucking me. moron in Chicago, I said it as a throwaway line. It's like the idiot that said, debunk the police, whatever, defund the police. Like, <laughs> he did it again. He said debunk the police on the latest Rogan. I've been saying that all day and I can't Debunk the police. Debunk We've been saying that all week. He's for like a week. I went He crazy. thinks it's debunk the police. And that's from my... Look That's at this. Why I had such By a the way, wait, you got to see this pause. <laughs> How is that a real frame? Wait, 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 wait. It's blocked by a ballot. You got to see it. <laughs> Look at that fucking frame. This is not AI generated shit art. That is a true real frame. That's insane. Uh, sports. <laughs> Okay, let's see. <laughs> to follow, hold on. <laughs> Listen to this. Going on in Russia. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't fucking know. But I do know one thing. I know people and I know how life works. When I said that about this fucking moron in Chicago, I said it as a throwaway line. It's like the idiot that said, debunk the police, whatever, defund the police. They was like, that's a great idea. And all of a sudden, fucking people started hitting them in the head with bats. It's not a good idea, but it's too late. Oh. You fucking were jumping up and down saying defund the police or whatever. I just said like a throwaway line. I'm going to sue whom, you know, every, listen, every two weeks I get a fucking call from a friend of I'm mine or, who, or Theo, and we just goof on this guy. We just hey, laugh. Hey, it's not even. Listen to this. Every couple weeks I get a call from like Theo Vaughn and we just goof on on this guy. Me. They talk about me on their phone. It's Joey sitting there alone. Hey, Theo. So this joke off in Chicago. Again, Theo. Let's speak up, Theo! Speak up! So Theo's out there on the phone talking about me. I haven't heard a peep from Theo. Oh, yeah, I like to keep it professional. But I can't believe you're talking. Theo's talking about me? What a wimp! How much of a bitch? I barely said anything about you. You're talking to me? Uh, about me? To him? He's just too much. What can we do about this? So all the team sources came together. They could think of nothing? <laughs> What's the plan? Why can't the top comics keep me at bay? Well, they thought you were at bay at this point because you were, oh. remember, hospitalized. Oh, it's the karma that did it to him. The karma. I'm talking about it. Imagine how delusional you would think that God is going to put karma on me for making fun of Joey and Theo. <laughs> That's karma for what you do. That, so you think God <laughs> is like favoring you against me? That's nuts. <sighs> Let's hear some more. I know what Theo and we just goof on this guy. We just laugh. It's not even because if you're any if you have any street knowledge, if you know the way life works at all, he's going to get his eventually. I don't have to do anything. Listen, if you think I'm going to pay somebody to go get you. Did you see what happened in Miami yesterday or two days ago on That's fucking Friday? Good. When somebody says something like <clears throat> a that, dentist got that. That's not good.
You know what's going to happen here? You see what happened in Miami the other day? Yikes. This is a publicly seen thing that's going to happen to me? <laughs> this is nuts. This is bad. Or two days ago on fucking Friday, <clears throat> a dentist got eight years for fucking, I think he got eight years or four years or five years for planning his brother-in-law's hit. Okay, he paid the guy's money, and it happened 11 years ago. They did the hit, everything went well. <laughs> Those guys go out into the world, and that's an ace in the card now. If they oh. get arrested, they always have it out. I, I took a contract from Joey Diaz and went to beat up some guy. I would never fucking pay anybody. I'll do it myself, because dead men oh. don't tell tales. You know, unless you send them, and then when they come back, you shoot them both. That's an extra two murders. I'm not in the mood right now for two fucking murders on my Whoa. jacket. I, I don't even care about the fucking guy. <laughs> but people were starting to get concerned, and I get a call every cu couple of weeks from somebody going, this motherfucker is going to go down, this guy. And, and he insulted he insulted a non-comic that was the worst move in his life. What? If I put any money on who was going to hunt this idiot down... It's the one non-comic. I'm not going to say who it is. About. You have to figure it out since you talk so much shit about everybody. Who Ooh. he was talking about? A non-comic who's going to hunt me down. I hope it's not Jocko. <laughs> Ooh. I'm Jocko's, like, greatest, like, I'm at the end of his get list. Us. We don't stand a chance. Imagine Jocko kicking the door down with, like, <laughs> eight guys with AKs. We're going over there! Then I'm I wake up and I'm like all blurry and I'm Jocko's torture chamber. Yikes! A non-comic. It could only be Jocko or Lex Fridman. Lex Fridman Who has been building be, a machine that he controls to come get me. <laughs> <laughs> it's finally ready. We could take him down. He said my poetry with. Who's gonna hunt this idiot down? It's the one non-comic. I'm not going to say who it is. You have to figure it out since you talk so much shit about everybody. We're trying. So true, dude. It's so true. Life is fucking weird. And uh -oh. he's talked a lot of shit about a lot of people. And finally, Tripoli hired an investigator and found him in Tucson hiding. Knocked on his Whoa. condo. He was out there for 10 hours, Tripoli. Really? <laughs> Tripoli's going to kill him. Sam Tripoli hired a private investigator. Found me, came to my condo, and stood outside for 10 hours, you say? <laughs> oh, interesting. And he's cool and we're crazy. <laughs> Hold on. Let's hear some more. And the guy wouldn't come down. I give him credit for not calling the police, you know what I'm saying? Because a typical white privilege move is to call the police. I didn't do nothing. Yeah, I know you didn't. But here's the problem. When the cops do come, somebody's going to show them all the videos that you said and all the shit you talked about. <laughs> okay, I love what this What are you saying? Scene. I love this scene. Eventually, I'm going to be calling the cops, right? Because they're coming to get me. To kill me, of course. They've been waiting. They're coming to kill me. So I call the cops in this fantasy. And then when the cops get there... Because I call them, hey, these guys have, are here to kill me. They're going to go, officer, may I present you the tapes? You see, officer, we were going to kill him. But he made these videos about me. He said I was addicted to Xanax. <laughs> Thank you. And then what? The officer <laughs> would go, let me do the honor. <laughs> Is that kind of what it was going to be? Let's hear some more. Somebody's going to show them all the videos that you said and all the shit you talked about. <laughs> and let me tell you something. It's not going to be a good day for you. Oh, I feel sorry man. for you. I feel sorry for you. I'm not a man. Police go, thanks for telling us, Joey. <laughs> you know, and I go, whoa, 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 guys, fellas. No, no, no. I, I run the police here. They work for me. They do. They really do. The only the thing fuck? you could basically do is get on a fucking computer and say lies about people and talk shit about people. Really, bro? Nope. So now you had to leave your home in Chicago. So the lie was, let me remind you, the lie was that I said Joey had a Xanax addiction. <laughs> that's the lie. Now, that after comes. this, that's the lie I tell that I needed to, you know, be stomped out for. 
and hide in Tucson. And let me tell you something. If you, if you don't think I called my ex-buddies that own Bugsies, that, that fucking Mexican cartel down there that used to eat bugs. He's that, saying he called the cartel. And hide in Tucson. And let me tell you something. If you, if you don't think I called my ex-buddies that own Bugsies, that, that fucking Mexican cartel down there that used to eat bugs. Remember, I used to go to a club named Bugsies on, in Tucson. It took a fucking, if you walked in there with a scorpion, you got in for free and you got like 10 drinks and whatnot. Let me tell you something, motherfuckers. Life has a weird way of fucking shitting on you when you least expect it. This guy... Did you need this? You're living in Tucson, hiding over a podcast? <laughs> Whoa! What? He, like, lost track of his own thought, his point. <laughs> You're living in Tucson, hiding over a podcast? What? You're the only one in this whole thing that has an issue with what I'm doing. Or what's happening. You're the only one with an issue. Um, so I don't know what podcast you mean. Does he mean his podcast? He wants you to stay in Chicago and quit your podcast so that you can stay in Chicago. I don't know what he means. Isn't the damage done? Aren't the uh, guys already on their way? You got the message. They're on their you're way. Out there hiding over a podcast. Yeah, it's all over a podcast. Living in Tucson, hiding <laughs> over a podcast. <laughs> Think about that. Uh, I, Think sure. about we how will. bad your life is that oh. you're hiding in Tucson over a pie. Now, where are you going to go next? Because now we got your number. Oh Tripoli got you with a fucking investigator. Oh my God. What, what are you going to do now, man? What are you going to do? For me, I'm yeah. not here to wish you bad. Oh. I'm not here to tell you I'm going to hunt you down. That's not even going to happen. I'm concerned with my wife and my daughter and what's going on here. Even though you had people call my wife and threaten my daughter. Wait, you don't what? think I knew? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 that never happened. That was not us. No, no, no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I like zoned out because I was thinking of what am I gonna do? He kept going. What are you gonna do now? And I was thinking, uh, I don't know. Hide in the closet with a gun facing the door. <laughs> Just kill you if you come. <laughs> Shoot you dead if you show up. That's probably it. What I would do. So, you already made fun of me, said if I called the cops, I'd look weak, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just shoot you <laughs> in the head. I'm concerned with my wife and my daughter and what's going on here, even though you had people call my wife and threaten my daughter. That was not us. We did not do that. I don't know. What you don't is. think I knew it was you. We traced back all the numbers, oh, okay. even okay. though you said things about my friend's daughter, even though you said things about we, Rogan's daughter. You were we, talking about kids and you were saying wait, a lot of we, we traced back your number. Who are you kidding? <laughs> we traced it. Yeah. What software did you use? What software? What software did you use? What program? <laughs> what app? Was it an app? Was it a physical machine that did this? Was it the cops? Was it uh, like a forensics guy? Who did it? How did it happen? How did you trace the call? What? Where? How did it all work? <laughs> He's believing me that I traced the call. Yes, because you're being serious. Don't try that. Well, you had people call my wife and threaten my daughter. What? You don't think I knew it was you. We traced back all the numbers. Even though you said things about my friend's daughter, even though you said things about Rogan's daughter, you were talking about kids. You about were that? saying a lot of weird stuff about people, bro. Uh -huh. So this is what you got coming to you. So now what really dazzled me... You're actually very, like, physically threatening. Like, like, I am actually being, you know, dressed down, like, really screamed at by this... Mafia guy. It's very scary. Very scary. It's almost like VR. How this <laughs> is happening right now. Very scary. I'd like a copy of this in VR. That I could do. You know. When we do VR. Alright, let's see. What people really need to know is how big of a pussy you were that you didn't even come downstairs to meet Tripoli. Mm. Listen to me. Oh. You're going to have to meet these guys eventually oh. and talk it out. I really? Like pay no them off. Ever, wait, wait, wait. wait. I gonna... like how no one ever considers the option that maybe somebody won't be home on a Saturday uh, night. I don't know. <laughs> um, 
you're going to have to meet these guys eventually and either talk it out or have your dad pay them off, he says. People really need to know is okay. how big of a pussy you were that you didn't even come downstairs to meet Tripoli. Listen to me. You're going to have to meet these guys eventually and talk yeah. it out. Pay them off. Pay get them your off. dad to send them a check. I know you were going to sue me and call the authorities. You did nothing. You did nothing. because <laughs> you got. I know you were going to sue me. No, understand not. Okay. You're a heartless soul of a fucking man. And I'll tell you what, how it's going to go down. It's going to go down very simple. See, anybody who serves a dish correctly is going to give you time to breathe. They're going to let you settle down in Tucson and fucking go back to Chicago and think the coast is clear. And when you least expect that one night, you're going to run out of that fucking whiskey you drink and you're going to go to the liquor store. And there's going to be a guy there with a bat. And he's going to hit you across the fucking head, maybe hit you across the legs, maybe hit you across the back. You're going to wake up with blood all over you and go to a fucking hospital. And you know how bad you're going to feel in that hospital? Bad. After somebody hit you in the fucking head with a bat and you got stitches. And God forbid if your wife is with him, because your wife had a good time on there too laughing. Remember how they, they made Rogan be guilty for laughing at my joke? Your wife is guilty of laughter. Uh, and what a beautiful thing to be guilty of. You know your wife? <laughs> She's guilty of laughter. Can I make my own You are guilty of, of laughter. Therefore, <laughs> you will be killed too by the hitman. With the bat. Does he have to do bat? Can't it just be a nice no. gun? No, no, no. It's going to be, I'm going to go to the liquor store. You know, like in a movie from the 70s. <laughs> and then there's going to be guys with bats that rough me up. During my late night liquor store run in a movie. <laughs> Did you see this guy? God forbid if your wife is with him, because your wife had a good time on there too laughing. Remember how they, they made Rogan be guilty for laughing at my joke? Your wife is guilty, guilty of laughter. laughter. That is, your wife is guilty of <laughs> laughter. What do you, and all this for what? For a podcast? The whole reason he wants to kill me in the bats and all this stuff and guilty of laughter is because we said he had a Xanax addiction. And guess what? Turns out he did. And he's admitted that now. So if she's with you, I'm sure they're going to bust her in the fucking mouth, too. Oh, come on. So is this what That's you crazy. really want out of your life? Is this no. what all the... No. This podcast talking no. shit about people no. really worth you hiding? No. A fucking <laughs> living on a lamb over <laughs> saying shit to people. Chris D'Elia, you went off on people. What do you think the result is going to be? I'm going to tell you. Oh, God. And I'm going to do it a la Frankie Five Angels. You ready for this? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. He's gone full mob. This is your option, stupid. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... Can you believe this tape? This needs to be on the news. I'm sorry. This, come on. Send this to Rogan. This is insane. Does Rogan know he, his buddy is doing this? His best friend? This is wild. <laughs> this needs to be on the news. I've had it. Oh I could be threatened by a celebrity who is in The Sopranos? That seems thing. newsworthy. Soprano star threatens Mike. <laughs> the news. This is nuts. Fuck. Let's hear some more. I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to do it a la Frankie Five Angels. You ready for this? Look at this. This is your option, stupid. Uh -huh. Your option is to get some of that money from your father okay. and pay off some of these comments. Give him 20 grand a piece, whatever. <laughs> so you One of my option A is give each of the comics I've made fun of $20,000 <laughs> so that they. All right, man. Beef squashed. Thank you. Oh, my God. We're, we're cool. And I appreciate the 20,000, man. I never wanted it to be like Can't it this. be like 5,000? $20,000. I have to. This is what he's saying my options are. Which sounds a lot to me. Like bullying. Illegal bullying. Extortion. Yep. I have to pay all the comics $20,000. You've heard that right. This is your option, stupid. Your option is to get some of that money from your father. 
and pay off some of these comics, give them 20 grand a piece, whatever, so you could come out of hiding and live your life like a fucking man. Wow. Your other option is don't pay them. Face Tripoli. Face them, because now they're all going to start hunting you down. And eventually they're going to find you outside and they're going to bust your fucking head. So if oh I was God. you, why don't you face these fucking guys? Be a fucking man. Theo Vaughn just immediately turns into like a maniac and just busts my head open with a wrench. <laughs> That's from Joey Diaz. You talk a lot of shit, right? You talk, you talk a big game. No need to yell. Be a fucking man. Because this is the only thing that's going to save you is apologizing to Sam, talking about his kid. What the fuck is wrong with you? Saying <laughs> shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, God. Saying shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? And this is your third fucking savior. This is where Frankie Five Angels comes in. And I sit Frank you down. Guy. You know what your other option is? Suicide, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Joey. That... <laughs> Oh my god, I guess the 20 grand's the best way to do this. <laughs> That's the only option. Or suicide? I must leave Earth? <laughs> That's my punishment You for should put out... How about everyone just puts out the word, hey, if you've been terrorized by Mike, he's offering 20 grand to you. Yes. To smooth this all yeah, over. Yeah, so that he doesn't and, have to commit suicide. And then just let everyone know that offer is out there and yes. we'll see if anyone accepts. But, and be like, but don't worry because he'll commit suicide if you don't accept the cash. <laughs> You're a waste of life anyway. I mean, you don't have the balls to face anybody. You don't have the balls to say anything to anybody's face. You sit behind your little fucking computer and you think you're cute. Kill yourself. That's going to be the last option. Oh I don't give a fuck what people think of me for saying that. Oh, to you. Oh, I really don't. Damn. You okay. got no options. You got three options. Fucking pay. Apologize like a man. Take the punch to the head. It's not going to hurt. You'll go down. Oh. They'll rush you to the hospital. Maybe they'll cut your fucking thumb off. My God. Who the fuck knows? You tell me what you want. Face these guys. Apologize. Be a man. Tell them you didn't know what the fuck you were doing, that you're a fucking idiot. You and half of America. And the people that follow you, that think you're cute, they're the other fucking... You should just kill yourself. Dog, let me put this. I'm not going to hunt you down. I don't need to hunt you down. But if I ever bump into you, I will run you over with a fucking car. Why? There cannot be any hurting or killing. So now if he sees me, he's going to run. I'm not going to do anything, but if I do see you, I will run over you with a car. Okay. Great. What kind of car? Just great. I mean, this isn't a joke. I don't think. He, means it. he wants a mass suicide of epic proportions like the world's never seen because of what we've done. You know I'm crazy. Oh. You guys know that at this age group, I belonged in jail, right? Like right now at this age, uh -oh. 59, I thought I was going to be in jail. Right now I'm living a life of fucking Riley. You know, I don't want to blow that for anybody. But for you, I would run you over with the car. I'm not going to pay nobody to get you. There's no Malanucci brothers. But I will see you someday or someday these people will see you. Whether it's Delia, whether it's Tripoli. And Tripoli means business. Triple E means it's Delia, so Delia's hot after me too? This is a straight up horror movie. <laughs> Delia? They're all like getting ready for battle in their own. I mean, well, they're taking a long ass time. When he said that he Delia was going to get, get comfortable, I thought he meant like what six is, months. Is, what is Delia going to do? Like do comedy to me to death? <laughs> I can't even imagine Dalia doing that. I can see him doing like a crab walk motion where he goes into like he bends his knees, but his legs are straight out and then he kind of dips down and comes at you. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other person on earth where they've ever had somebody tell them Dalia is coming to get you. <laughs> yeah. Business dog. You're gonna have to get out of this one. He's got these, all these guys have the backing. You know, anybody from 10th Planet sees you, they're going to break your fucking arm. 10th Planet. You think about that, and you don't know what their name is. You don't know who... Some Mexican attacked me and broke my arm. Oh my you know, God. That's what's going to happen to you. I or if you not. don't want to get hit. I, if I was you, I'd take the punch to the head. You're going to take a punch, five stitches, maybe a broken rib, and then tell your daddy to pay a fucking... You know, and you go back and you're out of the woods. Or <laughs> think about your life. Okay, think wait, about so what you're doing. One broken rib, one punch, and then after that, no more revenge? 
We're clear. Doing podcasts every week, insulting people when you've done nothing with your life. You really haven't done anything with your life. What do you get, 2,000 downloads to fucking, you don't do anything with your life. You're a failed comic, you're a failed podcaster, oh. and you're a failure as a human being, brother. Oh my but God. you have a chance to turn this around. I know what it is. What do we do? To be a failure yeah. as a human being. That? I was the king of that shit. But you got us an option to turn it around. How? I went to prison. I paid my dues. I caught a couple of lumps in the head. You know what I'm saying? You get hit a couple of times in life. Karma is a motherfucker, dog. And wow. you have lit that fucking uh, firecrack on fire. Now you got to deal with it, brother. So I wish you luck. Got a long wit. I wish you never crossed my motherfucking path. Oh. I'm not going to hunt you down or look for oh. you or send anybody for you. Oh, thanks. I'm an old school dude. I don't want to do any of that oh, shit. Well, then we're fine. I want to bump into you myself. Oh. Either you apologize and give me your hand and apologize to my wife. Which I don't really. What? Though, I'd rather hit you your with the wife. call. I don't want an apology from you. What? But Wait, these, he just said, no, fuck that. I don't want an apology. I'd rather hit you with the car. <laughs> okay. That's apologize funny. to your wife. I didn't even know you were married. Dog, I'd rather hit you with the car. Oh. I don't want an apology from oh. you. But these other guys, you better apologize, brother, because you're going to be hiding the rest of your life over nothing. <laughs> over nothing. <laughs> over you wanting to be cute and can't back it. But I'm hiding from the threat of all the murderers. It's not nothing. You're saying they're going to... Pretty much end me. I'd wish I was dead. They're gonna shoot us. They're gonna hit us. Yes, with break our They're arms, cut to... off my thumb, break my rib. Hit I'm stitches. No car. stitches. Okay, I don't want anything broken. So yes, I'm hiding. Um, well, if I was hiding, <laughs> it would be because of all of those fears and anxieties. You can't give the points and you can't cover the spread. So why are you doing this? And now. Everybody knows you're a fucking pussy. You didn't even come down and face them. So whatever you're going to have to say, whatever video you're going to make in response to this, any of your fucking loser fucking friends, listen, brother, uh -oh. you got a dilemma right now. You know this. Look at your wife. Give us a couple thousand. Send her to Mexico. Goodbye. Why should she get in trouble for you? You're right oh. there next to Tucson. Oh. Send her to Mexico. I don't want her to get punched in the face. I don't want somebody to smack her the way they did Sally Struthers. You ever see Steve McQueen when he smacked Sally Struthers in the getaway? That's a tremendous knocks her the fuck out. You want somebody to do that to your wife? I don't want somebody yeah. to do that to my There's wife. There's got to be somebody knocking out somebody in a movie sooner, like more recent than that. <laughs> That's from like 1962. Um, <laughs> yes, no, of course. We, nobody's getting punched. Let's... Uh, so that's why I'd go up there. I'd go up there, give out my hand, contact Tripoli, okay. contact Rogan, Dalia, whoever the fuck, contact me. I don't give a fuck. I'll take your apology, but I'm still going to hit you with a fucking car if I ever see you because you don't Can't know. Do that. Listen, when I kidnap Vela, and by the way, Ken Vela lives in Tucson. All I got to do is call him and he'll go right to your fucking house and he'll take out the kidnapping I gave him on you. And I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> your options are to apologize like a man, take the punch to the head. They're all going to kick your fucking ass. And then you're out of the weeds. Or you could do what's behind door number three. And that's slit your wrist, buddy. I gotta say, these instructions are very confusing. Okay, hard to so follow. again, this was all over saying he had a Xanax addiction in a video. And the one thing I liked about the Rogan podcast this week that I got to tell my side of the Xanax thing, I fucking loved it. And I, I, I'm getting a lot of emails from people about it wow. that uh, they didn't know what was going on, that they got hooked on them and they went through the same thing. I'm happy I got to tell that story. I'm really happy because it set my life getting apart. it destroyed my life for two fucking years oh. guys you know uh rogan was talking about jordan peterson destroyed his life for two years interesting i don't even think i uh said that it destroyed his life for two years he said he's just addicted simply addicted <laughs> didn't know about the destruction the two <laughs> this is way worse than anything i said and how it destroyed him there's a thing i think it's called echinacea that you get <laughs> Okay. After you stop taking those things, that is basically the worst feeling 
I've ever had in my fucking life. I can't just, and it was brought up every time I took a Xanax to calm my anxiety, that feeling would start. And it's a feeling of uncertainty. You can't really grasp your heart's beating, your stomach, something. It's like 20 things that are, are wrong. And I used to live like this. It, guys, I don't wish this shit on anybody. It's wow. like I told Joe. It's not that I was doing Xanax to drink and jump up and down. I really had a really bad condition. Uh-oh. It was not fucking good. And now after, now my anxiety is at, if my anxiety was at 120 three years ago, my anxiety now is at 5%. Wow, that's much lower. Let's get that percentage up. 